This video will demonstrate the Parrot Products IW1000's interactive whiteboard system. Right, so this is the Parrot Products interactive whiteboard system. Product code on this is IW1000. This is the box you will actually receive it in. Once you open the box, you'll find your carry bag, your Parrot Products interactive free class software, as well as this box. Once you open your carry bag, you will find all your necessary components inside. First of all, you have your signal receiver. You have a stylus E pen. You get an extra pen that, as well as your batteries for the stylus E pen. You'll also find your network cable with RJ45 points, as well as your RJ45 to USB inverter. In this box, you will find your ceiling mounting bracket, so you can mount the actual system next to your data projector. And you'll also find your USB cable. Installing the Parrot Free Class software can be done by inserting the CD into the computer CD-ROM drive. The CD should automatically open to the installation directory. Double click on the setup application icon. To start the setup, click next. You can choose the directory you want to install the software in. We suggest that you keep it in the default directory. To continue, click Next. The software is now ready to install. Click on Install to start the installation. The software will now install. This may take several minutes. Installation is now complete. To close with it, click Finish. You will have to install the USB driver by going to the USB driver folder on your CD. Select the CP210XVCP installer icon to install the USB driver. To start installation, click Install. You can also change the installation directory, but we recommend to keep it on default location. The drivers will now install. If the drivers are up to date, a notice will appear. Just press OK. Installation is now complete. This part will demonstrate how to connect your system to your computer. Take the network cable and plug it into the USB to RJ45 adapter. The other end of the network cable will go into the signal receiver. Take the USB cable and connect it to the other side of the USB to RJ45 adapter. The other end of the USB cable will connect to your computer. The stylus e-pen uses 2 times AA batteries. Unscrew the end cap and insert the batteries as indicated in the end cap. The signal receiver can be positioned next to or on the data video projector.
Calibrating the system can be done by going to your taskbar and clicking on the free class icon. Then click on Calibrate. To activate the laser beam, press the red button on the signal receiver. Position the laser beam in the center of the screen. Then click OK. You can now go to the board to start calibration. Using the stylus e pen, press in the center of the dots that appear on the screen. Once completed, the system will save calibration. Wait until you hear the last beep or the laser beam goes on and off. On your free class toolbar, click on the whiteboard mode. Once here, you can immediately start writing. You get your standard colors you can change and your different pen thicknesses as well. You have your soft pen options available here. You get your special toned colors. Once you click on the pencil, it will change your pen into an eraser. You can clear the entire page by clicking on the red cross. You can import pictures from your computer into your background. Annotations can be done over these pictures. All your lessons can be saved. Your on-screen keyboard will appear once saving. Type your file name and choose your directory. You can add more pages. Change background colors. You also have different line styles available. Pages can easily be duplicated. Undo and redo available. You then also get your screen shade to hide information on the screen. You have your spotlight to set focus on specific areas. You can turn your date and time your lesson started on or off. Once you get out of the whiteboard mode, you are in your interactive mode. Your stylus e pen will now function as a computer mouse. To type, 
simply call up your on-screen keyboard. Your mode can be changed to annotation mode to easily annotate over Windows programs. These annotations can be saved by taking a snapshot. In both modes you have a highlighter available. Annotations over videos can be done by pausing the video and changing your mode to annotation mode. Thank you. 